Ochozonjupa Regional Health Director Gerbado Timotheus explained the delay in processing overtime claims is because of no authorization yet given by the line ministry. So this has resulted uh, in they are not feeling good. They feel that they are not being taken care of. But the fact of the matter is, it's not only the ambulance drivers who were not paid their overtime. The category of um, uh, cleaners, radiographers, and many others were not also paid. This is because we did not have authorization. We are requesting authorization to pay these categories twice a year. It seems like funds were not sufficient. And that is why authorization was, could not be granted. However, according to Timotheus, these outstanding payments are expected to be processed by mid-month. With the uh, assistance and guidance of our uh, accountant, we identified some votes that were having some funds that we could violate. So we violate funds from those votes, and then we find an amount equal to the amount that is required for us to pay this category. After we identify that, we, as a procedure, we need to consult our financial advisor. We have submitted our request or our proposal to the financial advisor. He has agreed, and as we are speaking now, at least those categories are going to be paid on or before the 15th of February 2023. Despite the non-payment hiccup, Timotheo said no major incidents were reported of state patients being affected by lack of services. He used the opportunity to call on the line ministry to change its authorization policies to 12 months and putting up fixed overtime for those in emergency care and medical staff. Faith Sankwasam, NBC News, Oshuwarongo.